This is the Edifier MP211. Okay, so coming in from Edifier is this pretty groovy little portable speaker. It's the 211 uh, portable a portable Bluetooth speaker, I guess is the best thing to call it. It resells for about £29 off Amazon, and it just looks kind of cute and nice. It's available in various different colours. I think there's, I saw from this, the spec sheet, there was a black and a yellow one, but uh, I think there might be more as well. There might be blue and red. Ah, there's blue and pink and, and, and things on, on the back there. Okay, so there is more. Okay, we'll not tear that off. Uh, we'll see what features we can glean from here. Uh, we've got NFC, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, an SD card slot, auxiliary plug-in, and 10 hours of battery life. Very nice, that. See, it's micro USB there as well, and micro SD. NFC, blah, 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 950 milliamp hour battery, which in music terms translates to 10 hours, apparently. Uh, looks a bit banged up, to be honest, but... Um, well, I guess that's transportation for you. So, Bluetooth speakers are incredibly popular still. And you can never have enough of it, as I'm finding. I have about 10, and I'm constantly looking for more. There's, I just want one in every room. A good one in every room. So, inside the box, we have a portable speaker user manual. A little... Uh, fold out brochure. Then here there is information edifier information for users. Uh, where to bin it if uh, you decide to bin it one day. Uh, we have a little 3.5 uh, two pole uh, extension cable for you to plug it into something else, your phone or whatever, if you can't use Bluetooth. And we have a little lanyard as well, which is nice to see. You don't get these terribly often, so it's nice to have them included. Right. It's a piece of paper that says Edifier on it. Must have been wrapped around the cable. Much like this. And this is the charge cable as well, which is actually quite nice. It's quite sm smooth and soft. But it's just your standard, typical micro USB cable. And there's the speaker itself. It's dinky, small, and very nice. I do like this. It would... It'll look perfect on a kitchen surface or up on a, on a shelf in a kitchen, maybe. I'm not thinking living room for this. I'm just thinking nice, small, in the background uh, speaker. So we have a speaker grill in the front. That's a uh, plasticky, metal-y type plastic with edifier on there, there's the NFC logo there as well for you to pair it with your phone. Uh, that's where the lanyard goes. That wasn't isn't one on the sun, so you're reduced to that end. Uh, under here we have two little rubber feet for protecting it whenever you set it on wooden surfaces. And then some information, ah, instructions on how to use on the bottom. Isn't that that's that's top notch? Not enough speakers do this tells you what the uh, LED means. Blue means Bluetooth, green means auxiliary, and red means SD card. Phone key, press, pick up, slash hang up, press and hold for decline and hands free off, and then press and hold to unpair Bluetooth. Excellent, I am so impressed. It's just one of those little things that makes life so much simpler, because most speakers react the same way but then there's just one every now and again that doesn't it's quite thin it's uh it's not the the deepest of devices and then around the back we have labeled uh dc in which is your micro usb cable uh on or s r c I'm entirely sure i can't think what s r c is right now auxiliary and then micro SD. 
so on the top of the device here we have the phone button for uh, interacting with your phone and picking up phone calls and things and then there's a previous track uh, play pause uh, skip track and then volume up and down it's important to note that these are actually clicky buttons they have a rubber feel to them uh, which is it's kind of the best of both worlds. Usually you would expect these buttons just to be spongy at best, but there, there is a tactile click to them, which is which is kind of nice. Um, okay, so to turn on, what we do is we slide this across. And we should hear a tone. Perhaps there's no power in it at all. Right, so we plug it in, we get a little LED there. Ah, we have a blue. That must be what it is then. It's dead. So we're NFC, see if that works. There we go, pair this Bluetooth device. Yep. Uh, we get a little tone there to let us know that we have successfully synchronized. And we'll listen to a little bit of whatever works. I'm sure they won't mind me uh, having a little play. This episode of Whatever Works is sponsored by IMAX Repairs. From helpful advice to upgrades and customizations, IMAX Repairs can supply parts for your DIY repair. DIY not your thing? Why not mail in your device and have it taken care of for you? Games consoles, sat navs, pretty much all items can be repaired. Items always returned by special delivery. So for all your phone, tablet and laptop repairs, please visit imaxrepairs.co.uk. Welcome everybody to episode 60. Okay, so the volume does go quite high. There is a little bit of disruption whenever it gets right up to the very top there. Um, as uh, as Dave was talking there, you could hear him crackling just a little whenever it went quite high up. Which is a, a bit of a shame, really. Um, because it's not going to be... Whenever it's, it's having trouble with spoken word, uh, it's certainly going to have trouble with, with music. So I'm going to have a wee quick test here to see how well it does with... Uh, of the Beatles. And it handles that quite well. So perhaps it was just the, uh, the higher audio quality of the podcast, possibly, with uh, Dave Rich's rich voice. Um, but uh, it's obviously only coming out the one side. It doesn't come out the back. But it does sound pretty good, I, I have to say. For someone who's not really looking for... Uh, the, the greatest, purest sound on the market. Uh, this is very much worth £28. It's especially since it's a nice design. It looks good. That would sit quite happily over in the corner of the kitchen for you to throw your media to whenever you're doing a bit of cooking or whatever and, and it can give you instructions or, or what sort of thing. You can actually see through the, the grill there. I can see it on the viewfinder so hopefully you can see it in the comfort of your own home. There's uh, two little speakers and then a hole there, there and over there and here too <laughs> but yes uh, this is a, a fairly decent little Bluetooth speaker um, I'm quite impressed with it I'm going to uh, put it through its paces and let it burn in and things like that and see how it sounds in a in a couple of weeks time after after good usage because it's fashionably suitable for my kitchen all right, well, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button, give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy, and other than that, take care.